Hey y'all, Jordan from Carolina Sewing back here. And today I'm gonna try and help you troubleshoot why your machine might be bunching. From my experience, there is four very common reasons that your machine is bunching. And I'm gonna go through each one of them and show you the fix for it. And um, hopefully that'll help you in the future. Number one, and probably the most common, um, it's very common among new machine owners and people who are just starting out sewing or even embroidering, um, is that your take up is not threaded. It's really easy if you're looking at this machine to just come around and thread it, think you caught it, thread your needle and start sewing and within about two, three stitches, you're gonna hear a terrible noise and you're gonna be bunching up. So it's super easy to do if you're in a hurry, even if you've been doing this for years. I've seen people who have been sewing their entire life do this, it just happens sometimes. Um, usually the culprit is because your take up isn't up all the way. So come over here, touch your hand wheel and make sure your take up is exposed. Um, you want to make sure that you can see your thread wrapped around it and that it is successfully in your take up right here. Um, if you have a button, you can press that to make sure you're all the way up. But definitely make sure if you're bunching that this guy right here is being threaded. So on a lot of more modern machines, uh, especially this kind of style of baby lock like the Presto, Brilliant, Soprano, Lyric, uh, ones like that, the take up is kind of re recessed down in here and you got to just trust the process of threading it. The best way to do it is just make sure that you're holding your thread kind of on the right side, the outer side, around the back and the left side. And a lot of times you'll feel it catch. If again, your, you know, your needle's not up all the way, it won't be in the optimal position to be caught. So you'll have to hit your threader button, bring it all the way up. When it is all the way up, if you stand right over your machine and look down, you can see your, um, your take up take your phone, use a flashlight or something, make sure, but you'll be able to see if the thread is caught in there. Um, again, very easy to do. Don't feel bad about it. Just verify step one. And if that didn't fix your problem, that's why step two is here. All right, and the second one is that your bobbin is not in tension. Most commonly, and this is not gonna be 100% of the time, this is again, just years of observation and getting phone calls and helping people. The proper way that I've found to do this is obviously counterclockwise drop your thread in and I'm still in the presto too but majority of baby locks have this kind of setup and this will be the same on them I like to just put a little pressure here so it can't like pull on me come around follow it through just like you normally would and come here take this put it on first and then cut it sometimes not often sometimes when you thread this and you cut it, and then you put this on, when you cut it, if you're pulling too tight, maybe what kind of thread you're using, it'll slip back out of tension. That can be a big reason. Um, I've never had that happen because I always practice doing that way. Um, you know, on other machines like the Zeal that I was just using or other machines that don't have this kind of setup, if you just make sure that it's deliberately being put in there and you can almost feel it snap in place, you shouldn't have a problem broken bobbin case. These can be broken in a number of different ways. Your tension could literally just be worn out. Maybe you haven't had a new bobbin case in 10 years. Very common that that gets worn out. Sometimes your tension right here will actually completely break loose for whatever reason and you can literally sit there and move it. I've had that happen on occasion. Um, that will cause it to not hold tension and start bunching. Right here you want to check and make sure that you don't have any burrs or breaks or anything like that. I have a video that I did very extensively on broken bobbin cases that I'll drop in the description box below. Um, so if you're looking at your bobbin case, it looks kind of weird. Check that video out. That could be your culprit. Before we get to number four, I want to put a little bonus one in here. That's just for embroidery. Um, if you're working like with a six or 10 needle or a flatbed embroider machine, all these things, really don't apply to you. Maybe on the flatbed side, um, but if you're still having the bunching issue, or like I said, you're using a six or 10 needle, something you wanna make sure of is that your hoop is very tight. You're using stabilizer and it's completely covering the edges. You know, you have an excess piece as well as whatever you're embroidering is excess. You know, you're not skimping out on your stabilization. Then you wanna also make sure that it's tight like a drum and that your screws are tight as well because if there's any kind of bounce that can cause breakage 
skipping, and bunching. So now let's get to number four. The final reason that your machine is bunching is almost exclusively going to be for external tension machines. For baby lock, that can be, you know, um, the Jane or the Quilters Choice Professional, that style machine. Um, Brother has one like that, Juki, a lot of different brands have that same kind of machine, that straight stitch quilter. Or a lot of your older Kenmores and Singers have these. Make sure that your foot is up, and what that's going to do is it relieves your, your tension disc, so it actually opens them up. When you get here, make sure you're putting them in there. And before you even go around your next step, I like to hold some pressure here. So I got holding this and pull up. And I, I could actually feel this seat in the tension. So if, for instance, I was just coming around and just kind of draped it in there and moved on to the next step, it's not going to properly go in my tension. And I'm probably going to have a bunching issue or, at the very least, bad tension. So you want to come here pull up on it and make sure you feel it seat in and then you can come down and do the rest of your threading. All right, y'all. I hope you fell into one of those four or five categories and that fixed your problem. If it didn't, it might just be time to take your machine in. There's a good chance if you haven't had a service in a while, it definitely needs it. Um, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see you next time.